Hi, it's Wendy Tiles from WendyTFanLove.com. I'm here with Joey Vega, and I'm trying not to laugh because he's already got me laughing. So, uh, look, he's eating like this. Look how he's doing. I made him believe he's on my diet. <laughs> he's making believe he's on a diet. Um, we're here in um, we're here in Freehold, New Jersey. We're at um, Trevi's Pizzeria. It's a, it's a a local place that we we love. Um, and he see, he see what he's doing. That's because the banana guy was closed. So Joey just got back from from being with um, with Mark in Vegas and celebrating somewhat his birthday in Vegas. Um, they never mentioned mine, <laughs> which was a week before. They never said anything. Listen, they never, never mentioned mine either. And I went all the way to Vegas to see him. So on my birthday, but uh, that's okay. We're here and we're with Joey. And Joey's got a lot of things going on. So I really wanted to catch Joey because I can't believe you got me. I, I can't believe I, I got so you. I've been trying to. I can't. I'm sitting down. It's true because I've been trying to like interview Joey for quite some time now, and I'm so happy that you're here. But Joey's gonna have his um his show, his sold out show at the comic strip on Friday. And um, it sold out really, really quickly. I, I did. Know, I was very surprised. And people were a little upset because normally he would add a second show, and he didn't add a second show. So, um, guys, next time you really have to hop on these tickets really quickly. There's something that happens. I dig it. See, <laughs> there's something that happens to Joey when he's on stage, and that it's outside of the um, Mark Anthony concerts. That I was taken aback. I went to see Joey in Point Pleasant uh, several years ago, and I just saw another comedian. I just discovered someone else that I had never seen before. Yeah, what happens? He takes on characters. How do you do that? Well, what happens is that when when I do the Latin show, that's so familiar to me because it's you know I grew up that way. But then when I started doing comedy. I started doing comedy for non-Latinos, so it's a whole different, you know, ball game. It's a whole different attitude. It's a whole different, you know, just just the way you express yourself and the material you have to do is different, and it's a whole different, it's a whole different culture. So, I I became a non-Latino comedian first because when I started, there was almost no Latinos going to shows, so all my material was. I, I used to put in some Latino stuff. How did you know that you were funny? I mean, at what point in your life did you? I didn't. I didn't did because say, I'm not the funniest funny? one in my family. My sister is the funniest one. My brother was incredibly funny and incredibly talented, and uh, I was the, the one that just sat, you know, in the corner and didn't talk to anybody. And the shy one. To everything. I used to I used to hide behind my father's, you know, oh, like La Falda, hide behind him. People would talk to me and I turn around. People were like, "There's something wrong with that kid." <laughs> What's wrong with that kid? I so, wanna um in, sorry, I'm gonna need to interrupt you, but I just got to remember. Um quiero hablar en español porque este, yo sé que hay muchos fanáticos que ya, eh, son hispanos y no hablan inglés y este señor aquí se llama Joey Vega y él es el comediante que habla para la, los conciertos de Mark aquí en los Estados Unidos y es una persona bastante graciosa como ya ven y él uh, tiene un estilo único para mí porque él cuando hace sus comedias y, y, y él coge el, el personaje de, de la gente de que él está hablando y se transforma él, él, se transforma en esta gente coge la voz y la cambia los gestos de la cara lo cambia so, um, tienen que, que ojalá que un día pueda me dijo que eso era muy malo que tengo muchas personas ¿no? so, yo espero que un día ustedes lo puedan ver allá en Sudamérica en sus países me encantaría eso. porque um, el, a la verdad que para nosotros es especial cuando él está en los shows y, y and we just love it no me encanta um, now what, what should we be expecting on Friday? Because every time, I mean, there's always a surprise of some kind. It's never the same show. It's it's, it's the same thing I say about Mark, but it's the truth. It's never the mm -hmm. same show. No, it's Mark always is always the same show. No, <laughs> no, there's no. True so, fans know it's no, not I know that. it's not the same show. I'm kidding. Because, you know, I've been, I've been working with Mark for 17 years, and uh, I still watch the show. You know, last Sunday I see you on was, the, the, was the beginning of the 17th year, and I was sitting in the you know, on the side watching the show, listening to this the music, you know, it, it's just the way he performs it. And people always ask me, do you get tired of doing the same stuff? And I don't do the same stuff. I always add different things here and there. Uh, you don't get tired because it's a different audience. And it's a different reaction. And so when I repeat a joke, you know, I know 
I, I wonder how they're going to react. And that's my entertainment, you know. And a lot of people get mad when I don't do certain jokes. They go, why did you do the thing going to the beach? Because people have heard it. Comedy is not like singing. Singing, you want to hear the same song. You know, if he doesn't sing a certain song, you're like, oh, why didn't he sing Preciosa? You know, so when you do a joke, it's the surprise element that makes you laugh. If you know the ending of the joke, you'll go, oh, that's funny, but you're not going to laugh. Now, you have an interesting history because Joey was one of the first comedians who had an actual um, Latino show in American TV, uh, The Latin Connection. Uh, how did that come about for I you? I was the very first. This is 1988 we talked Yes, about. I was the very first. That's how I met Mark. And I was the very first uh, comedian or entertainer to have his own show. And it wasn't, you know, it was my, I was hosting. But uh, there weren't that many Latino entertainers at that time. And what happened was that there was one lady that believed in the Latin, you know, explosion that's been coming since 1968. You know, and it still hasn't exploded. It starts to explode, and then it fizzles out a little bit. And Shakira, and okay, later on, and, and, and you know, and Enrique Iglesias, and okay, 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 you know, the one constant is Mark. You know, the one constant is Mark. You know, he's been there, and he's and and he's not hasn't fizzled out. He hasn't even reached his peak. You know, but how it came about was that there was a lady that believed in that explosion, and she was looking for someone that was. A New York type, funny, regular guy, you know, how to be a comedian, and there weren't that many comedians back then, I'll be honest. And they, they had a lot of models that, that tried out for it, and when I saw these guys, I was like, oh, I'm never, I'm <laughs> never going to get this. These guys were six feet tall and flaquito, and, you know, but they didn't have any real personality, mm -hmm. you know, for the, for the for TV. The yeah, so uh, that's, how, that's how I got it. It was just they saw me. I was at the right place at the right time. That's awesome. Yeah. And and Joey has done several movies as well. So Joey's a full actor, and, and now you can see that when he does um, the shows, when he takes on these personalities, you can tell like he's a real actor. Um, they had a they had a a, a, a Joe Vega uh, festival. All the movies that I've done, <laughs> the TV shows, and, and it lasted about three minutes. <laughs> no, he's been in several <laughs> movies. He's been in several movies, and and. And uh, you have a special movie that most people don't talk about. Nobody ever hears about that movie. It's a movie with Mark, um, Inside, Story, Inside Story, which I happen to love. And it's a movie that Mark did when he was very young. And Not even Mark mentions it. With, he doesn't mention it, I know. But us true fans know about it. So, um, but Joey's in it. He's the DJ on it. He's the DJ, yes. Because Mark wanted me to be the DJ. He wanted me to be the, uh, the MC at the club. Ralph Mercado got that part mm -hmm. because, you know, the connection with Maldonado and all that. Uh, but uh, Mark was, was mad. He was like, oh, Joey Vega should be the MC. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> By the way, Maldonado, are you out there? I still haven't got paid for that movie. <laughs> but it was fun. You know, Mark said, no, you got to be in it. You got to be in it. So um, I played the DJ. But it's a cute oh. movie. It's a yeah, whole black movie. movie. Iri Chacon, Dani Rivera, um, Chrissy Ice, I believe, is uh, uh, the Cynthia. Uh, no, the, what's her the name? Girl. Oh my God! Oh my God! I can't remember her oh. name. I'm sorry, but um, again, it's a cute Karina. movie. Karina is a girl. So there you go. I'm sorry. I've mentioned this like every freestyle artist, and I think, oh, Mary, I'm sorry. <laughs> Johnny O was the. No, no, he wasn't. Girl. No, no. <laughs> But again, it's a cute movie. If you guys can find it, um, just find it because you're gonna love it. Um, you can you can get it on uh, Amazon. But Joy also was uh, one of the writers for the George Lopez show, and um, we we just found it interesting because not only was he the writer, but he would have segments also, and he would go out in LA and, and talk you know to that? fans. Because I follow you. What do you mean I don't know that? I, I looked at everything. I'm good at this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she should be a detective. <laughs> Yeah, I used to go on the street and, and yeah. do interviews, yeah. He would do the interviews and they would have small skits and, and it was just adorable. I mean, it was just a lot of fun to be able to see Latinos doing what we love. It's just, we love to laugh and we love music and, and to have that on national television every night, it was, it was, it was awesome fun. for us. It was, it was, it was great and uh, uh, the only thing that bothered me is that I was the only Latino writer on the George Lopez show, and he wanted to have a Latin theme, and he did. And he had a lot of Latino, you know, uh, entertainers on there. 
And I almost didn't get the job because the second producer did not want me. Oh, wow. And the head writer said, I, I need Joey on the show. I need him on the show. And I was the, the one that wrote most jokes for, for George. And I was the one that sat in the room with George and went over the jokes. So, and George is a great talent. So can we talk about like the time when, when um, Jennifer Lopez came on the show mm -hmm. and she did a skit I mean, she, was, she opened up the, the, the show. Were you involved in that process as they well? They asked me, they said, you know Jennifer, you know Mark, what should we do? And I didn't know, like, I don't know, uh, maybe since it's, it's G-Lo, right? because it was George Lopez and J-Lo, and, and they had a big thing in the background that said G-Lo, mm -hmm. so what about, what about if uh, Jennifer hijacks the opening? And she does the stand-up. They say, you think she'll do it? Or, I don't know, let's ask. So we asked her, we went through with Benny Medina, and they said, yeah, okay. And I said, listen, I'll tutor you. So I, I tutored her, and let me tell you, if you're not a Jennifer Lopez fan, you should be a Jennifer Lopez fan, because she is the hardest working performer I've ever met. I love her. I've ever met. I mean, she, if, if I told her to do it 18 times, she would do it 18 times. If I told her to do it this way, she would do it this way. We sat for two days, and she learned how to do stand-up. No, I, 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 I've seen her work. She, I, yeah, I went to a taping she was doing for some London show, and, um, and she, you know, she's a perfectionist when it comes to her art, and, and, and she was just practicing everything. She mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that everything was right, and it was, it was a small, um, intimate um, studio out in New York City, and I got to see firsthand yeah. her you know, her magic, because it's magic to me, what she does. She's a hard worker, and she's not afraid to say, I don't know that, how do you do that? You know, she's not afraid. If I would tell her, do it, do it again, she wouldn't go, okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm tired. No, she would just do it and do it and do it. When she went on that stage, she was a stand-up comedian. She was, she was great. Yes. I'm telling you, we, 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 we were nuts with the, with the show, because we were surprised that, like, she didn't miss a beat, and, no, and that's the was, thing about the it. The timing, she yeah. everything. She knew where to go, how to how to gesture. She, she knew everything. Mm -hmm. And that's something that takes years to learn. And she had two days to rehearse. She had two days. And you know, and I went through it with her and she just she executed it. Wow. Yeah. And I had somebody else that I taught and you know, he thought he I I got it and then he didn't do it as well. <laughs> so, we're not gonna mention any names. No, I'm not gonna mention okay, any names. we're not gonna mention any names. But um, I know that um, Joy's working on a special project, and uh, I, I want him to talk about it a little bit because um, I want to know everything, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't tell you everything, but it's for a major company, uh, and uh, I'm I want to do one in Spanglish, and I want to do one in English, because I'm going to conquer the whole market. Okay, and then the next one is I want all the. Americanos, the white people to go, oh, Joey Vega, and I want all the Latinos to go, oh, Joey Vega, and uh, I want them to be confused. So, I Joey, them to come to the show. Joey está diciendo que él está haciendo un, un proyecto especial, y en ese proyecto especial, él quiere hacer esos shows de dos maneras, lo quiere hacer en inglés, y lo quiere hacer también en, en, en lo que nosotros decimos panelists, que viene siendo una conexión de inglés y español, que es lo que yo hablo most of the time. <laughs> Yo so, también, everybody does. So, sí, just, va, a ser la, va a ser algo especial definitivamente because um, it's that time. It's that time for you and it's that time for us to see you in that element. It's that time um, for me because time is running out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, you know, as fans, when we, when we follow you and, and, and we, you know, not only do we go to the Mark Anthony shows and wait for you to come out, but we also go to your shows, your shows yes, around you the Tri-State area, and, always and yes. the people and out in, in um, Orlando and California mm -hmm. and Chicago. I mean, he travels to, to do what he does, and he works hard. So I love, like, I, you know, it's it's funny because I go throughout the country, and all the Latinos that come out to see me are just so great. The audience is. They're so uh, uh, appreciative. Appreciative, yeah. That's they, what it they, is. They're wanting. They're staying. They go, yes, make me laugh. Oh my God, yes, I remember that. You know, it, it's it's such a joy. Because uh, seeing you is it's, it's it's it reminds us of home. It reminds us of, of the jokes that um, we were listening at home. Uh, so it's it's just that feeling of I'm home. Like mm -hmm. you know, you're home to us. It's the same thing when, you know, like Mark sings and, and we're home because it's something about the quality of, of, of But I think of it's mutual because that's how I feel when when I'm on stage and I'm in front of all Latino audience. I can say anything. I can say anything in English or in Spanish. I can say, you know, the, the kids nowadays, blah, 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 moco, and, you know, they, they, they laugh. And, you know, I'll, I'll throw out words that I haven't heard since I was a little kid. 
you know, we go to Tasso or whatever, and people laugh. And but so he's, I got feel this, like I'm home. he's got this whole Jodienda thing going on, and now we got the Coco Tasso thing going on. Look up with, you have to go. Yes, I went to wear mine, but I was at work, so I couldn't do that. <laughs> Since I can't go to, a, you know, the office with a Jodienda t-shirt. So was going to work for not me today. go to the office with a Jodienda t-shirt. But, um, I, I, you know, we all love it, we all follow it, and, and the thing about Joey that I, that I really, I'm so intrigued with it because it's not only the men, it's like the women are into him, the men are into him, and it's just like, there he comes, like, there he comes, like, when, if you guys are, are going to go for the first time at the comic strip on, on Friday, you're going to see what I'm talking about, where he's just like, everybody's into it, and it's, it's beautiful to see, though, yeah, it really just... is, I don't know if you understand what we see, what we No, feel. because I understand it because that's how I feel. Yeah. I, I, it just gives me, you know, I've been open for more forever. And they come see me. But I've been lucky enough that now they, you know, you know, I have people from South America, you know, that are living in the States and they come up to me and they're like, oh, tu eres tremendo y me hiciste reír tanto. And I go, did they really understand everything? Because uh, on Saturday, there was a couple from Mexico and they didn't speak Spanish, uh, English. And I did it in Spanish, but they came up to me and they were like, oh, I think it was so funny. Yeah. So I'm always surprised that they understand, you know, or they get the gist of it or maybe the way I perform. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's a combination of everything. You know that. It's, well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a mutual just, thing yeah. because I, I'm never, I'm not as happy ever as I am when I'm on stage in front of like I mean, I've done, I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And... <laughs> The best shows that I've ever had is in front of the Latinos. And I've had great shows in English in front of non-Latinos, but these shows are just great. So, so you know, some of the questions that the the fans have um, is, are you uh, are, are you considering one Puerto Rico and Marcus and PR and open up for him in Puerto Rico? I am considering it, but I do have a prior commitment at the Bogota in Atlantic oh. City. So since I, yeah, and, and you know what happened last time I was in Puerto Rico. <laughs> it wasn't great. It wasn't great, but, but for us, because we know you and we know what you do, it was great. Some people got a little impatient, but he, because Mark was late, and it was Mark's fault. I'm sorry, Mark, I'm going to call you out on this one. <laughs> it was your fault because you were late. There and was that, a lot of things happening that And day. that airplane and didn't, get, didn't come in on time. And then we had a couple of opening acts yeah. that... You know, dolieron un poquito. A lot of beer, free beer, and, a lot of, <laughs> and I wasn't on the big screen, so people couldn't see me. Yeah, that was, yeah that was the other thing. Yeah, it was, it was, but it was we rough. had a whole bunch of, of girls that went down to Puerto Rico to see a friends from over here from New York. And uh, we were just like in love with the whole thing. And, you know, everybody else didn't agree, but uh, it, it was... 30,000 people didn't agree. It was an experience. <laughs> pa'fuera, pa'fuera. That's what they kept chanting when it I was, was on stage. It was an experience. It was an experience. That's what you gotta check it out too. No, it was an experience, but let me tell you that that was only the second time that my parents went to see me before. They had, they had only seen me once before here in New York, and they went, they were front row seats, and I had friends from New York come down, Roberto Clemente Jr. was there, uh, and it was the very last show they ever saw. And then they passed away. I think I killed him. Stop! Is that that loco? Is that that loco? But yeah, it was the very last show. They so my my father was feeble by the way. He's gonna tell you. But you know, you they still know. love you. And oh no, I know. So and they know that most of us appreciate what you do. So I'm I'm pretty yeah. sure that they are really. But well it, it aware. did leave a, a bad you know. A bad feeling. It it did, it, I didn't want to go back to Puerto Rico to perform for a long time. And then Chris Rock called me one day and he said, I'm performing in Puerto Rico, I want you to come. And I said, no. And I told him no maybe five or six times. And he kept calling me. He said, no, you want, you have to come and vindicate yourself and you, it's going to be great. And it was. It was fantastic. Uh, the people at that show, was maybe 5,000 people. One of the best shows I've ever had. One of the best shows he's ever had. So you got to do it again. I I'm, want I'm to. encouraging you to do, to do it again. I want to do it again. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this this year because I have if I get out of the Borgata thing and I don't know how they're going to feel about it I don't want to burn that bridge if it's meant to be it will so, be yeah. you know, that's just the way things are so it's going to be good um, I have a couple of rapid questions for you because um, the, light, the yeah. bonus round it's the bonus round it's the bonus round what is your 
favorite place? Like, what, where is your favorite place at? To perform. Anything. Like, your favorite place. Perform.